According to Megan's sister, Megan absolutely used a surrogate. Taking on Twitter, Samantha Markle said, My father verified that frozen eggs were picked up in Los Angeles in July, which not surprisingly was nine months before Archie was allegedly born. It's reasonable to believe, still, that a surrogate was probably used based on the evidence I've seen. Thomas Markle told YouTuber P. Dina that Megan picked up frozen eggs of hers. Thomas might have known this as he always pays the bills. Royal fans also believe Megan used a surrogate, with one saying they used a surrogate. This is why there was such secrecy surrounding the so-called birth. The Queen's physicians refused to go along with the deception, as did members of the royal family. This is also why the baby can't be given a royal title. The birth certificate wasn't signed. Neither was the birth announcement displayed at Buckingham Palace. One day it will all be revealed, but by then the Duchess of Sussex will be long gone. A deceitful woman entrenched in our royal family. Now it's reported that King Charles III could be out for retribution, as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix docuseries brings the royal family's drama back into the spotlight. I think there'll be muted responses to whatever specifics are in there, but we have to wait and see what the accusations are, royal expert Christopher Anderson said. According to the author, Harry's relatives are horrified about what might be revealed in the highly anticipated series. I think they're still holding their breath and waiting for the other shoe to drop. Well, there are two shoes that are going to drop because it airs in two parts, he teased. I just think the sense of betrayal has shifted over now to genuine combat mode because this is a war between two sides. Furthermore, Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams has warned King Charles may ban Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from his coronation over the Netflix drama. But Fitzwilliams says that will only come after months of the firm ignoring the dynamite the Sussexes are throwing at them. Then the family may cut all ties with Harry and Meghan, Richard says. The expert was speaking after it was today revealed the King and Queen Consort, Prince and Princess of Wales, will attend a carol service on the same day the Netflix documentary is released. The royal family will gather seemingly unfazed for the Christmas service at Westminster Abbey on Thursday, December the 15th, the day the second half of the explosive docuseries hits screens. On the other side, the Sussexes have come under fire following the release of two Netflix trailers promoting their documentary. US broadcaster Megyn Kelly branded the Netflix trailer as yet another attempt by the Sussexes to replicate the US Kardashians reality show in a bid to remain in the spotlight. After playing the clip, Miss Kelly appeared stunned with disbelief at the claims being made. First of all, they want to pretend that they had nothing to do with this. This is really their story, but it's told through someone else's vision. The fact that she's including in there that she was a royal rock star. Okay, alright, got it. And then everything changed just in a snap. She continued, What could it have been? Could it have been you guys being narcissistic jerks at every turn? Bullying members of the palace? complaining constantly if not every piece of commentary was complimentary enough of you and being nasty to William and Kate. Countering the Sussexes' claims they've been victims of negative media coverage, Miss Kelly said, There's a reason the press turned on her. That has nothing to do with what the clip says, hatred and race. 